hey guys welcome back to the channel thank you guys for coming back today's video is a craft with me we're going to be crafting up these super cute little lace coffins you guys how adorable do these turn out it is a perfect way to use the little brooms that i showed you guys how to make and i absolutely love them i'm pretty sure we all have some lace in our stash and we can definitely make these cuties you don't need much so cute you guys you can use any little witch you have. So I did a past Halloween set. I'm going to be doing the black one with you guys. Because I'm missing the black coffin. But look. How cute. But before we get into those tags, I'll show you them a little bit later on. I want to show you what I used. So this collection is from Mommy Lay. And she does a small kit release every year for Halloween. Last year she did, I think it was called Boo. And this year, this year, it's boo thing. And I'm going to show you guys whatever I have left over for paper. Because I did make a bunch of memory decks cards. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. So cute! But these are some of the papers that come with the little kit. So adorable, you guys. Little skull heads with bows. This is the same one. We got a stripe one. There's this stripe one. You got this one with the witch hats. And there's this one with the moon and stars. And then the one with the little witch. And then another one with the little ghosts. So cute. Obsessed. I love it so much. And then, not only that, but you get a bunch of stickers as well. So I did use on my tags for the pastel colors, just some regular cardstock from Michaels, where you get like the little sets from Recollection. So I used those colors. I used white. And then, let's see, what else? Let me put this in here. So we don't have this all over the place. What else you would need? So I use, of course, some of my foam dots to, of course, make everything look dimensional. I have some jemmies. My last broomstick, you guys. And I like to put a little pom-pom on her hat just because I think it looks cute. So... We did that, and then you can get a template. If you don't have a template, I cut mine on my Cricut, but if you don't have a template, you can definitely just grab one from Pinterest or just Google one, and then just cut it out. These are about five and a half inches tall. That's how big I made mine. And then, of course, you guys, you need some lace. I had this lace in my stash. I thought it was perfect, and that's what I'll be using. And, yeah, you guys, you get a bunch of cute little ephemera pieces you get like webs you get the little ghost so many cute pieces look at these pumpkins adorable so definitely check them out i'm gonna have the kit linked down below i did stitch on a web but i don't think i'm gonna use it i am gonna use my little sentiment that says which please and we're gonna put these bad boys together well this one bad boy because i did these already so you guys you don't have to stitch if you don't have a sewing machine you can totally glue that down with your atg gun you can use your wet glue you just have to wait for it to dry so you would put together your pieces and i do that so just so that the, that the tag is sturdy so this is going to be my front cover and this is the back piece and i need to get also i need to pick a paper to put on the back Let's see. Because I did do papers on the back. You guys can see that. So we're going to... Maybe I'll do this one on the back for the black one. So all I usually do is... Once I cut... One, I only cut one on my Cricut. And then I just cut the rest with a scissor. It's easier and faster. Because all I really need is the template to just continue making the rest of the tags. Okay, make sure that's lined up right. 
And these are so cute, you guys. I absolutely love them. I did not think they were going to turn out the way they did, but I love them. Okay. Throw that in the trash. So now we have our three layers. That's the back. Let me grab my ATG. Okay. So just put some of that there. We're going to put our white on top. Just even it out as best as you can. I cut off whatever excess is there. And then you're going to put your other layer on top. I personally am going to stitch because I am obsessed with stitching. But like I said, you guys, you don't have to. You can totally use any adhesive that you have on hand. I know some of you guys asked me if I can do projects without stitching, but every single project that I do, you guys, it stitching is an option. It's not necessary. I need you guys to remember that. It's just preference, and if you know how to do it, you do it. If you don't, you don't have to. So now we have a super thick coffin and you grab your lace whatever lace you have I just kind of like measure the piece that I'm gonna need so about that much and then you're gonna place it right over this is what I do. I place it right over. So I'm going to stitch mine real quick and I'm going to be right back to show you guys how I just trim off the edges. Okay, guys. So I have stitched up my lace onto my coffin. Now all I'm going to do is trim off. I did take off this back piece because I don't want any sewing lines on it. So I did take this off while I stitched up the lace. So then all you're going to do is trim off the excess lace. all the way around mm. you should be left with something that looks like <coughs> excuse me oh my god my throat got so dry Woo! you should be left with something like this this was a little crooked for me it's hard sometimes to see through with the lace but it still looks cute that doesn't bother me so now we're going to decorate our little tag let me take a sip of coffee because my throat is super dry i don't want to choke on you guys so we're gonna take our little broom and she's gonna go right here like she's at a slant right there so I'm gonna grab some hot glue and we're gonna put her right there so we're gonna place our little broom right there so she's gonna be right next to our little witch oops okay I like to fluff up the little broom. Then we're gonna grab our witch. We're gonna grab some, like three little foam squares. Place them on the witch just to prop her up. Peel that off. I do add some more hot glue on top. You guys know I like to make sure nothing moves. So just add some hot glue right on top. And move the bow so we don't place her on top of the bow. And we're going to place her right 
there. She's so cute, you guys. I can't deal with her. And that's what we have so far. We're gonna add her little pom-pom to her hat. So just a little drop of blue on her hat. Place down the little pom-pom. And then we grab our little sentiment and we're gonna put that right there in the corner. And like I said, you guys, I stitched on my stuff. You don't have to stitch on yours, especially if you're not comfortable with stitching, don't know how to work a sewing machine. That is totally fine. Your tags are still going to come out super cute. So I'm putting these little jemmies, oops, right there. I'm gonna do one there and Maybe one all the way down here. Or should I put one? I'll put one over here on the side then. It's too low. I like the sparkle on the top. And then we're gonna grab some spiders. You guys, can you believe I'm running out of spiders already? I just bought this pack. I'm gonna have to buy another one. I've been wait making way too many projects and now I'm out of spiders again. So we're gonna put one spider here. And then the other one, maybe I should put it. Hmm. Oh, I should put it like right here. Yeah, I want them on the top, not on the bottom. Not on my witch. Okay, just hold that down. And that is it, you guys. And you got yourself some cute little lace coffin tags. I love them. And you can choose to put the ribbon on them. I might end up putting ribbon on them on the top. I'm not sure. So far, I like them like this. And then on the back, I'm just going to add my little spookified by Lillard tag a little label and we are done look at that is that not the cutest I love it so much so now let's go back and look at them so we have these two and then we have these two so we have the green we have pink we have purple we have black and then we have like that baby blue and yeah you guys that is my video for today let me know down below if you enjoyed it if you're gonna make some and i will catch you guys on the next video bye guys